Hello everyone welcome back to Shaheed Comics, and as was the case with the show's preceding three episodes, Secret Invasion Episode 4 story included several shocking twists and reveals, and a warning this video contains spoilers for Secret Invasion Episode 4, and Secret Invasion Episode 4 featured arguably the show's biggest reveals to date and many shocking twists and turns. Each episode of Secret Invasion has consisted of huge revelations that change not just the status quo of the show itself but the entire MCU. From the death of Maria Hill at the end of Secret Invasion Episode 1 to the reveal that Nick Fury is married to a scroll a week later, Marvel Studios' most recent Disney Plus show has the highest quantity of massive story reveals of any MCU TV installment thus far. And by the ending of Secret Invasion Episode 4, this is even more prevalent. Somehow, the show managed to top the twist of Gia death at the end of Secret Invasion Episode 3 with a brand new slate of exciting, shocking, and heartbreaking reveals leading into the final two episodes, with that said, here is every one of the story-based turns Secret Invasion Episode 4 took explained in detail. And Secret Invasion Episode 4 revealed G is alive and already a super scroll. And undoubtedly the most shocking aspect of Secret Invasion Episode 3 was Gia's death at the hands of Gravik in the episode's final scene, however, in a similarly surprising turn of events, Secret Invasion Episode 4 revealed that Gia is in fact alive. This all stems from the fact that she used Gravik Machine on herself before Episode 3 ending, imbuing herself with the Super Skrull powers that Gravik was shown to have. And while Gia may have died from Gravik gunshot wound initially, her Super Skrull Extremis powers a Secret Invasion Episode 4 Easter Egg to Iron Man 3 allowed her to heal and be revived. Gia wound eventually closed, before she finally fled from Gravik Compound to be reunited with Talos. Interestingly, Gravik thinks he succeeded in murdering Gia, likely setting up a big confrontation between the two Skrulls in future episodes. And Secret Invasion Episode 4 officially confirmed Rhodey as a Skrull imposter. And since Secret Invasion Episode 2, it has been a widely held theory that Rhodes is a Skrull working for Gravik. This was only compounded by the ending of Secret Invasion Episode 3 when Nick Fury wife Vara spoke to an agent of Gravik on the phone who sounded suspiciously like Rhodey, with Secret Invasion Episode 4. These theories are officially confirmed with the reveal that Rhodes is indeed a Skrull imposter, shortly before a scene between Fury and the fake Rhodes. A Skrull is shown showering before shape-shifting into Rhodey, finally providing confirmation of the most discussed Secret Invasion theory. And this marks one of Secret Invasion's biggest MCU twists, as it throws into doubt Rhodey prior appearances. The burning questions now are how long Rhodey has been a Skrull and where the real Rhodey is being held. This will likely be a big plot point of Secret Invasion Episodes 5 and 6, as Nick Fury will likely seek out the real Rhodes in order to help him combat the Skrull threat. It is likely Rhodes is being held with the other humans in Gravik Compound, something that Gia could help Fury infiltrate, thus freeing Rhodey. And Gravik ordered Vara to kill Nick Fury in Secret Invasion Episode 4. And after the cliffhanger ending of Secret Invasion Episode 3 revealed that Vara was working with Gravik, Many wondered how the character would play into the future of the show. In Secret Invasion Episode 4, it was revealed that Gravik, or more accurately Skrull Rhodey ordered Vara to kill Nick Fury, threatening Vara life. If she did not cooperate, she was ordered to retrieve the gun from the lockbox at the end of Secret Invasion Episode 3 and use it to kill Fury to stop the super spy from further attempting to thwart Gravik plans. And Vara decided to spare Fury in Secret Invasion Episode 4. And despite being ordered to kill Fury, Another big reveal of Secret Invasion Episode 4 was that Vara spared his life. Fury was somewhat suspicious of Vara as proven when he listened in on her and Rhodey conversation in the church. This led to a confrontation back in Fury home, where the two of them attempted to figure out what was real and what was not. Eventually, both came to the conclusion that their love for each other was real and spared each other's lives. And Gravik is blackmailing Nick Fury with Maria Hill death. And after the scene in which Fury confronts Vara, he then goes to talk to the Skrull Rhodey. Fury laces Rhodey drink with a liquid tracker, enabling him to find out where Gravik will strike next. Fury then asks the fake Rhodey to keep quiet about the Skrull invasion and to give him his job back, solidifying his cover that he is unaware of the Skrull imposter. Regardless, Rhodey shows Fury surveillance footage of Maria death, which clearly shows Gravik impersonating Fury to shoot her. Rhodey says that Nick's story about it really being Gravik who shot Maria will not hold up in court, thus blackmailing Fury using the footage. And Nick Fury saves the president from Gravik assassination attempt. And at the climax of Secret Invasion Episode 4, 
Fury and Talos follow Rhodey to the assassination attempt on President Ritz and life by Gravik and the Skrulls. The Skrulls were emulating Russian soldiers in an attempt to worsen the rising tension between the U.S. and Russia after the Moscow bombing and secret invasion episode 1. After a firefight, Fury and Talos eventually retrieve Ritson from his overturned car. The episode ends with Fury driving away with Ritson safely in tow, having foiled Gravik's latest attempt at sowing further chaos on Earth. And Gravik kills Talos in Secret Invasion Episode 4. And in the cruel mirror of the ending of Secret Invasion Episode 3, Gravik kills Talos at the end of Secret Invasion Episode 4, as Talos is attempting to smash the window of President Ritson's car. He is shot in the shoulder by one of Gravik henchmen. Eventually, Talos is able to break through the glass, but not before turning back into his scroll form as he is losing blood. Fury grabs Ritson and takes him to his car, while Talos is grabbed by one of the British soldiers aiding the duo. And just as Fury turns back for Talos though, it is revealed that the British soldier is Gravik. Gravik then pulls out a knife and stabs Talos in the chest, killing him. Fury is forced to choose between saving the president or being with his friend in his final moments. With the episode ending on a shot of Talos' lifeless body, it is unlikely that Talos survived in the same way Gia did, as there was no time before Secret Invasion Episode 4 in which Talos could have become a Super Skrull. And also, using the same method for two characters surviving an assassination attempt by Gravik would be redundant. Instead, it is likely Talos' death will push Gia to properly oppose Gravik alongside Fury, as she has now lost both of her parents to Gravik cause. Similarly, the death of his best friend, the loss of his wife who had to go into hiding, and technically the loss of his friend and Rhodey will also push Fury to stop Gravik once and for all in the final two episodes of Secret Invasion. And we're in the end of the video now in another awesome video I will meet you again bye guys have a good day.